This video is going to teach you a little bit about heat engines, or at least the very basics. To begin with, what is a heat engine? Well, let me give you some examples. Let's start with a hurricane as a heat engine, or a car engine as a heat engine. A lo steam locomotive as a heat engine. This drinking bird is a heat engine, and we are heat engines. So these all function because they all need the second law of thermodynamics. And the second law of thermodynamics says to spon the spontaneous net flow of thermal energy will always occur from hot to cold. In other words, energy will always flow from a high source to a low source. And put another way, a ball will always roll downhill. That's really what the second law of thermodynamics is saying. All right, so let's look a little bit more at the heat engine. First off, here are the basic components. We'll draw it out real simplistically. At the top, that's the hot reservoir, and that's where the temperature of the hot, that's what the TH stands for, and energy will flow from the hot reservoir, thermal energy, downwards into our working machine. And so what are hot reservoirs? Well, hot reservoirs are things like fire is a hot reservoir. Your engine, as it runs, creates a lot of heat. That's a hot reservoir. Any kind of hot fluid, like coffee, can be a hot reservoir. Even a nuclear power plant, and it's not what you think. Nuclear power plants generally are steam run, but in order to turn the turbines, they use to heat up the water to run the turbines, they use the heat off of radioactive decay to do that. And then we are also heat engines. So we can generate a lot of heat. As you can see, this person's really generating a lot of heat. So all these things are heat reservoirs. Now, what about the other side of this? Well, the heat flows from high to low. That's from the hot reservoir down to the cold reservoir. So we're calling that QC for the thermal energy that's cold flowing down to the cold reservoir. And this is waste energy. This is energy we don't do anything with. And what is a cold reservoir? Well, it can be a lot of things. It can be the environment. It could be a glass of ice. It can be a pool. It can be the ocean. It can be so many different things. It's just something that's a different temperature than the hot reservoir. Something that's cooler than the hot reservoir. All right, suppose we put in 10,000 joules, or sorry, from the hot reservoir, we get 10,000 joules out, and then 4,000 joules flow into the cold reservoir. So we know all energy is conserved from our first law. What's going on here? Well, what's going on here is the actual heat engine itself is doing work. So it's converting that thermal energy into some other form of, thermal, of energy by doing work. And so in this case, 6,000 joules are being done in work. So the way we look at it, with our first law of thermodynamics, the work is equal to the hot minus the cold, that's thermal energies. So it's real simple. The work is equal to the hot thermal energy minus the cold thermal energy, or W is equal to QH minus QC. So now comes the question of how do we define an energy's efficiency? Well, we think about it as the energy out divided by the energy in. And by energy out, we mean the work. QC is the waste energy that's given off. It's not anything that's productive for us. So we're talking about energy out, we're talking about the work, and energy in is QH. So QC isn't really part of this formula the way it's written right now. It's about the work and about the energy put in. QC is just needed there to draw the energy down because the second law says that our energy is going to flow from hot to cold or high energy to low energy. So that's why the QC is really happening. Now if this is true, then that's going to be W divided by QH. But I just defined W above in the first law. So I'm going to replace that W with QH over QC to make a little another simple formula. QH minus QC over QH, a little bit of math, and I get 1 minus QC over QH. So the efficiency of a thermal, sorry, efficiency of a heat engine is 1 minus QC over QH. It's also work over QH. Don't forget that formula as well.